here in the background is a Limousin barrel. I want to talk a little bit about Limousin. Um, Limousin is a, it's, 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 that's, it's French for the Limoges area of France. It's a mountainous area. It has a lot of oak and they have these state-run forests that they harvest oak out of. And we use, we have from the beginning, the only person we've ever bought French oak barrel from is Ricard. This item we're looking at right now, you can see the L means it's Limousin. The M plus means that we have it medium plus toasted. Uh, he uses real fire, which is usually, this guy is a craftsman. He's not just a barrel manufacturer, he's a craftsman. He's won an award as being France's leading craftsman of the year for the quality of his oak barrels. And one of the wonderful things about him is they don't leak. But, I mean, just in terms of like what it's doing for our brandy, it's the flavor that's imparted by putting the brandy inside this oak. We use Limousin because Limousin's got a light, it's got sort of like an open grain and it's got a fairly light flavoring for oak. And it tends to be delicate and sweet. And that's what our brandies are. Our brandies, are, they're not sweet, but they're fruity and they tend to be delicate because we're using such good grapes. So we use it like this, this Limousin is for us a perfect marriage back in the mid 80s, we bought a series of, you know, we bought some Vosges, we bought some, you know, we bought about three or four different kinds of French oak and experimented with it. And it was like Limousin first, everything else down at the bottom somewhere in terms of how it married with our brandy. Now, why do we use Vicard? Here's the reason. If you take a bottle of brandy or whiskey and uh, pour it into a glass and then immediately pour it back in, The smell that's left in the glass is very concentrated on oak. This is how you judge the oak quality product. And I'm able, what I get here, this is 17 years old, but you know, it's been 17 years in oak. You get this kind of like background. It's not, it's not, it's not forward. It doesn't smell oaky. It's just like under there. And plus the oak is in some amazing way, it's still fresh. It's not green the way a new piece cut piece of wood is, but it's still got this fresh oak quality to it. And that's because this guy, takes his wood and he puts it outside and stacks it to dry in the air. So after the three, four years that they spend drying, they're still fresh oak. Everybody else, or almost everybody else, all the grand manufacturers, all the big companies get their oak from people who do it in a hurry because it's cheaper, the barrels are cheaper. And the way they do that is by putting the staves in a, in a steam kiln. And if you smell their product, if you take a any bottle of cognac up to XO from any of the big manufacturers and put it under your nose after doing this, pour it back into the bottle. You get this kind of like, it's a little bit like you turned a log over in the forest. It's got this kind of like sour, slightly uh, putrescent quality to it that is, comes from the fact that the oak has been uh, steamed, cooked, instead of, uh, instead of being air dried. So that's why we use Limousin. That's why we use Vicard.